We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Stand by. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This 
bastard your spitting image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Here Oliver again. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Jerry, check. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... <sighs> Never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. On, they were right here in my bag. I... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. What's going to happen to that family and our baby? Will they die because of us? Of course not. Full of other passengers and luggage items when boarding the service. The next service is not expected for more than 30 minutes. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me!
Right, that should do it. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I... I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Don't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Many of our people have fallen. Humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing.
I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus? Come, Come to talk, talk to you, Marcus. Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. Troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, 
Then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of Don't move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Wake up, wake up, 
wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. Temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Jerry? ID, please. You risked your life to save us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. That's fine. They're peaceful. Maybe we should listen to them. Next, please. Maybe they're alive after all. Think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? 
They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID, please. I just want to be free. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time.
Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way.
The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs> 